this in this lesson we're going to look at equality operators and also if statements okay so an equality operator is a way to see if something is equal to or greater than or less than or equal to or less than or whatever than another thing okay so for example i don't know let's see mm, let, let's let's make a couple of uh, a couple of variables we'll make variable num1 variable num2 and we'll make them both oh that was weird we'll make them both equal to some number right make that one equal to 4 this one equal to 5 okay and we'll say that variable bool1 is equal to num2 greater than 3 okay Let's see if this runs. It might not run. It has run. Okay. And now if we print out bool 1, it should print out true here. Okay. So this here, this little symbol, is actually the greater than symbol. Okay. And I'll just put it here. The symbol. So the greater than symbol asks if the item on the left is greater than the item on the right okay so in this case we are saying variable boolean one which is a boolean a boolean we're asking is number two, is equal to the result of this number two greater than three is num two greater than three well num two is five and so it is greater than three okay so we're asking is num2 greater than three the answer to that is yes so the boolean value is equal to true and that's why when we print bool1 we get the word true returned because it's a boolean of value true because number two is greater than three so here's my explanation the symbol asks if the item on the left is greater than the item of the right yeah which it is and so this boolean is a value true, right? I'll make another variable. I'll call it bool2, and we'll say num1 less than 3. And then we'll print bool2, okay? Let's see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? We'll run it. This is false. So, the reason... This is false, it's because the less than symbol asks if the item on the left is less than the item on the right. Okay, so quite simply, if this is less than that, then this bet boolean will be true. Okay. The boolean will be true however if this isn't less than three which it isn't the boolean will be false okay so we're asking the the called equality uh operators because they see things are equal to or less than or you know how how, how they compare to other things they're comparison operators shall we say i call them equality operators i think the name is actually comparison operator now we're going to say variable bool3 is equal to num1 equals equals 4 print bool3 so we run that and we get true so what this says is is this the same as this okay so this is a more complicated one, but I'm just going to say that the double equal sign asks if the item on the left is the same as the item on the right. Okay, so here where we have single equals, what we're saying is this is now equal to that. Okay, so we're saying that variable boolean2 is equal to this you know boolean result right here we're saying variable number one is now is four right 
variable number two is five, right? So a singular equal sign says that the I, the variable on the left or the item on the left is now has the value of the item of the right. Yep, it is of that value, right? When there's a double equals, we are asking, is the item on the left the same as the item on the right? Now you could say it isn't because it's a var that's a variable and that's a number, but no, it is because number one, the value of number one is four, okay? And so its value is exactly the same as this four. So number one is equal to four in answer to this question if the item is equal to the other item, right? And so variable Boolean free is true, okay? There's two more what I'd call equality or comparison operators. So there's the less than or equal to asks if the item on the left is the same as or less than the item on the right. Okay, so we're going to say variable bool4 is equal to num1 less than or equal to 5. And we're going to say variable bool5 is equal to num1 less than or equal to 4. Okay. Oops, I'll put the four there. We're going to print um, bool four. Then we're going to print bool five. And we'll, I'll explain the results. Okay, I'll explain very quickly the results. So we'll run that. Both true. Okay, so if you look here, you can see that five is more than num one, which is four. Okay, and we're asking, is this item less than or equal to this item in this case this item is a value four and it is less than the value five so it is less than or equal to five in this case here the case of bool five this item num one is a value four which is not less than the value four but it is equal to the value four in this case this boolean is also true and that's why both of these are true okay there's one last one, which I'll just get into now, and it's that the more than equal to asks if the item on the left is the same as or less than the item on the right. Not the same, sorry, not less than or greater than. I was looking at this part up there, but yeah, we're asking if the item on the left is greater than the item on the right, is the same as or greater than the item of the right. So I'll, I'll just sort of demonstrate that. So we'll say Boolean 6 is equal to number 1 more than or equal to 5. This, we'll see what the result is. Um, if you've guessed the result, well done, but you know, we'll see. Try and guess it. We'll say that variable bool 7 is equal to number 1 greater than or equal to 3. And then we'll say variable bool 8 is equal to num1 greater than or equal to 4. Okay, we'll print all of these out. So we'll print bool 6. We'll print bool 7. And we'll print bool 8 right when we run that when we run that we should get this should be false and these two should be true and I'll explain why in a minute okay so I was right this one is false and the other two are true okay and the reason why that is how it is is because here we ask is num1 which is a value for more than five no is it equal to five no okay so it's neither equal to or more than five so this is not true is num one a value for more than three yes it's more than three doesn't matter if it's equal to three or not because it is more than and we're asking if it's more than equal to so this is true and then we're asking is four more than four no or equal to four yes it's equal to four so this is also true and these are all the uh, equality 
operators. These are all the ones that check and compare if one is equal to more than less than or whatever to another thing. Okay, simple as simple as. Why is this relevant? You know, why do we care about this? Why do we use these? Well, now I'm going to introduce to you if statements. Right, this is what they're important for essentially. The if statements. I'm going to demonstrate a few of these uh, little if statements, if you like. So, let's say I make a variable number 7, or n num3 we'll call it, yeah? And we'll say that it's equal to 7. Let's say that if num3 is more than 6, then we do something. What do we do, though? We are going to print num3 is more than 6. Okay. So let's run that. Num3 is more than 6. So what happens here is an if statement checks two, you know, equality com com comparisons and depending on whether the if statement is true that one is that number three for example is more than six it will do whatever's in this bracket here yeah, yeah in this bunch of code so we've got these squiggly curly brackets here and if this is true then this will happen that's essentially all an if statement is so if condition is true then do everything inside of the da okay understood we can also say if num3 is equals equals 7 then we print num not mun num three is equal to seven okay so we can run that and we should have both of these now 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 let's use an if uh statement that isn't true so we'll say if num three is less than or equal to one then do this stuff in the squiggly uh, the curly brackets here so we're going to say oops num3 is less than or equal to 1 now if you actually look here you'll see that this line of code hasn't been executed um, simply because number three is not less than or equal to one okay so as i say the if condition if the if condition is true then do everything inside of the curly brackets here number three is not less than or equal to one so this if statement doesn't run uh, because it's not true you know the condition of number three being less than or equal to one has not been met is not true so whatever's in this curly brackets cannot be executed right simple as we'll do another if statement we'll say if number three is more than 300 then do the stuff inside of here and we'll just print that number three is more than 300 okay quite a simple concept then yeah you were just testing see if something is something if something is true and we're saying if this is true then do this okay i'm going to do one more just so you kind of get it right just one more to kind of solidify and instead of using variables i'm going to use numbers okay just to make it easier so if five is more than three more than four okay then We'll do the stuff inside of the squiggly brackets if that's true. Print five is more than four. 
Okay. So what we're saying here is if this is true, that five is more than four, then let's declare that this inside of here can execute, i.e. let's print the fact that five is more than four, if it is indeed a fact, right? And here you can see I've got a little space there, so it's printed out because five is more than four, okay? And let's say if seven is less than nine, we print seven is less than nine. Actually, you know what? We're going to say nine less than seven because I don't actually want this um, to compute. So we'll say that nine is less than seven. This isn't true and it shouldn't actually execute this piece of code um, because it's simply not true. And you can see it, it hasn't printed out here. So might be a little bit complicated, might be thinking, I kind of understand, but I don't understand. But basically, in an if statement, we're saying in an if statement, if x is true, then do everything in the curly brackets. So i dot e dot if seven more than five do the stuff in the de i dot e dot if if that's print hello then we would expect the text hello to be printed to the screen. Have a little fathom of that, you know, have a little think on that. But essentially, as I say, all the if statement is doing is checking one thing against another thing. And if the comparison is tr true, then it'll do everything inside of here. It could do more than just print, for example. Another thing just I want to quickly touch on is, you can see here that I'm in the online Swift playground, and when I made my curly brackets and separated them with space, I got this separation here. Not every single IDE, not every single like Swift programming uh, interface will do this. It's good to tab these. It's good to sort of put some space in between them so you can see that this, this where the space is here is tied to this if statement, all right? Um, that's all. Another thing is all of these if statements are separate to each other and all the ones that are true will be run, like all the code within the ones that are true will definitely be run. Um, if one runs, it doesn't stop the rest from running. So, for example, if this is true, then this will run. If this is also true, it'll run. If this is also true, it'll run. All all of these that are true, all of these if statements that are true are independent of each other. And if they are true, they will run. All of them will run. All the ones that are true. Okay. Anyways, that's more or less. Sorry, uh, it might not have been the best explanation. But if you mess around with if statements yourself, it'll very quickly make sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.